back like we never left. What is good, everybody? Today's video was an email request about breaking no contact and the importance of your silence after that breakup. You already know how I get down. I don't like to waste time and I'm ready to get into it. So let's do that right now. We get into these extreme comfort zones during relationships. We invest our all and we find that our efforts have a payoff. And that payoff is what you've built together, right? We get into a relationship with the end in mind, making and building meaningful and long lasting relationships. But, and this is a big ass but, what becomes of those expectations once y'all actually break up, get divorced, and the whole original plan falls to pieces? See, because we're always taught to fight for what we want, aren't we? Whether it's in business, goals, relationships, we want what we want and we want it right now. And the willingness to sacrifice for it seems standard when you love someone as much as you do, right? You value that relationship, don't you? But to what end? How much more should you give to someone who wasn't meeting you where the relationship needs to thrive? You know, in conflict resolution, in compromising, and in making your relationship a priority. See, we get lost in love so much sometimes that we don't realize that it can cause us to begin accepting unacceptable ass behavior, you know, like disrespect, cheating, lying, keeping things from you, not valuing your opinion, not making you feel seen, heard, and understood, and essentially not putting in the work to maintain your love. And when we start accepting less in our relationships, when our boundaries and expectations basically become non-existent, when the compromising becomes so overwhelming that you're now making up the difference in your partner's deficiencies by your damn self, making excuses for them not giving much, checking out mentally and emotionally, and not being the person they always promised you that they would be, is when we start betraying ourselves. And now after, Going no contact is no different. You gave an inordinate amount of time, attention, and care to that relationship, didn't you? So letting go, staying in your silence, maintaining no contact is hard, but not because you don't deserve better, nah, but that comfort that we build and the fact that your ex knows you, they're familiar with all your quirks and flaws, familiar with you intimately, that's a whole new level of fear. And yes, I said fear, because we never want to lose on our investments, do we? And think about that, you invested time, effort, energy, money into something that ultimately wound up breaking your heart. And that's hard to make sense of, ain't it? It's hard to live with that new reality. And instead of accepting and embracing the pain, it's easier to try to run and fix it while simultaneously knowing you're already giving your all. You already spoke from the heart, didn't you? You already expressed your displeasure in how you were feeling you were being treated and in the love you didn't feel, the effort they weren't giving. And now they already onto somebody new. That's the ultimate in disrespect, but also in a fear loss. Guess what? You ain't got nothing else to prove. No more efforts need to be made. No more investment needs to be put in. Sometimes we take L's in our life. Sometimes things don't work out. And sometimes, just sometimes, the people that we love most betray us by not standing on their own word. But just like you have in the past, you need to make a commitment and stick with it. If that commitment is to stay no contact, heal, and then move on, then it's time to keep a word for yourself. Stand on business and make peace with this new reality. That your ex could never live up to the expectation you had placed on them in the first place. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom and become an official part of a team that will always push you towards personal greatness. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.